Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup decluttering video. Um, this is definitely overdue. I have a lot of makeup and most of it I don't actually use. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to go through my collection with you, um, throw out the ones I think were a bit rubbish or out of date and which ones I should probably give away to people that will love them a bit more. So I'm gonna start off with foundations because um, this is the base and I think this is probably gonna be the easiest one to start with. So these are all the foundations that I currently have, which I think is pretty good going. I don't think there's too many. I've got seven here, uh, which I suppose when you've got one face is probably quite a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly go through them. Um, the first one I'm gonna pull out is the Magic Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I've gone through a whole one of these before. I was actually uh, four in the last one. I've gone to number three, because I think that one might have been slightly too dark for me. So hopefully this will be a perfect match. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Uh, what else have we got on here? My MAC one, I do like this one. Um, this was one that was colour shaded in store, so it does match quite well. I just have really oily skin and I find that this is quite a glowy, luminous one and I get oily quite quickly, but I do like it, so I'm definitely gonna try and keep that one. So as I said, I have quite oily skin, so I've been really on the hunt for a good matte foundation. And um, these are the two drugstore ones that I found. There's L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte. This is my favourite foundation out of all of them at the moment. I love this one. This is pretty much empty, so um, I'm probably gonna throw this away and then get a brand new one of these because this is amazing. The Bourjois Paris Air Matte, it's all right. I really hate the smell of this. It's got a really horrible smell and I'm not sure what it smells like, but it really put me off. So I think I'm gonna actually throw this one away because I don't like using it just because of the smell. This next one is a Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. Now this may look really dark and this is because this is my summer foundation. Um, actually looks pretty beaten up. So I think, I might throw this one away and get a new foundation for summer because I'm pretty sure you're not meant to keep foundations that long. This one well, actually says 24 months, so that's probably definitely still in date. So I might keep that and hopefully I'll get a tan in the summer that I can actually wear that. Um, this is probably my oldest foundation I have, which is the L'Oreal True Match. This is a nice foundation, but it's definitely not one I reach for every day. So I think I'm probably gonna throw this one away. Now the final one I have, which is the one that annoys me the most, is this one is the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation. It's just really not good. The lady color matched me in the store supposedly, although if you look at this, this is not my color. So I don't know what she was thinking. Um, I just really don't like it. It's got horrible coverage. It's really wet. The only reason I still have this is because I paid so much money for it. They're like 40 pounds NARS foundations. Um, so I think I'm gonna give this to someone, hopefully that they might like it, or if they got quite dry skin, I'm sure this will work a lot better, but for me, I hate this foundation. I'm just really annoyed that I spent so much money on it. So next category is concealers. Um, I only have three because I literally go through concealers so quickly. I don't know why, I just tend to use them all up. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is a Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer. This kind of goes with the foundation. Um, this is a really nice colour. So this is definitely one I'm going to keep. It's really good for under the eyes. So the next one, um, you probably can't even remotely tell what it is just because the label is completely gone. Um, this is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is like a really good concealer basically. It's one everyone always raves about. I'm actually fair in this concealer but I can never find it. So I've got a cool medium at the moment. Um, I don't tend to put this under my eyes at the moment just because it's a little bit too dark. But if I can pick up the lighter one, I definitely will. And I do use this pretty much every day, hence why it looks terrible. It lives in my makeup bag. And the final one is the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Pen from Maybelline. I've used a lot of this. However, I really don't like it. And I think I'm using it just to make sure that I was giving it like a fair go. The reason I don't like this is I find this sponge applicator at the top really gross. I've cleaned this a few times and I just don't think it's very sanitary to have the product come out of a sponge like this. I just, I don't know, I just, it creeps me out a little bit. So I think I'm gonna throw this away just because I don't feel that I can clean it as well as I would like. So next up we have my primers. Um, I always really struggle to find a good primer slash setting spray. So first up I have this one, which is the Infallible Fixing Mist from L'Oreal. This is pretty much empty. And this was really good, apart from the fact that it doesn't give you a very fine mist, it's pretty, wet and I've sprayed this on my face before and everyone else around me has kind of got soaked because it's that kind of thicker mist so I definitely don't think I'll be picking this one up again although I did really like it it's just I didn't really want to have a soaking wet face every time I used it. Next one is a favourite of mine for pretty much everything which is the MAC Fix Plus. Um, I've pretty much almost used this up so I definitely need to pick up another one of these. 
It's great for eyeshadow, it's great for a base, it's great for a sort of a finishing mist, although it doesn't set your makeup, it just kind of makes you glow. I really like this, it's kind of a bit of everything product, so I'll definitely be repurchasing that once I've finished this one up. So the next product I have is Prime Time by Bare Minerals. I don't even know if they make this product anymore. I bought this when we went to Vegas, which was 2013, and it's only meant to last for 12 months, so this definitely needs to go in the bin. I found it in the drawer, and I completely forgot about it, to be honest, so... Goodbye. I've been on the hunt for a really good eyeshadow primer for a long time and I still haven't really found one that I like that isn't really expensive. So I thought I'd try the collection uh, Primed and Ready eyeshadow primer and it doesn't really do anything unfortunately. I was really hopeful that collection might have given us a nice cheap alternative to like the Urban Decay. But they haven't, so unfortunately I think I'm going to have to splash out and get the Urban Decay one because this really just didn't do anything. Next up is the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine. I really like this actually. Oh, how do I open it? Okay. I really like this actually. Um, I threw the brush, the sponge away because I didn't think it was very sanitary and I've just been buying cheap ones that I can kind of throw away every now and then. This is good. It's kind of like a balm, um, but I really like it. It's kind of like Professional from Benefit, which is definitely one of my favourite primers. It's just a nice cheap alternative. So I will definitely be using that for more than every day and uh, yeah, really happy with that one. So the final one I have is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Based Visage and the reason I don't like this one very much is because it's really glittery, like it has a lot of sparkle in the primer, um, which I'm not massively a fan of. I like sparkle in my makeup but not literally all over my face. So I'm going to keep this one for like nights out and things like that but it's definitely not one I reach for every day. Now we're going to move on to powders. Um, the first one I want to talk about is my Hourglass Ambient Light Powder. This is incredible. Ash bought me this for Christmas and I love it. It's definitely one of my favourite makeup items that I have at the moment. You wouldn't think that it makes much of a difference, but I've really noticed in the videos where I've been using it that my skin just looks a lot more glowing. My favourite one is definitely Dim Light for all over the face. I use this one, which I think is Iridescent Light, for like around my highlight and blush. And this one, which is Radiant Light, I use um, kind of where I put my bronzer and I really, really like it. So that's definitely getting kept. Next up, I have this beauty powder from MAC. Um, the color is Pearl Sunshine. Uh, I'm not sure really what the purpose of this is. I think it's kind of like the hourglass. Let me put a bit on my hand. It doesn't like really do a lot. I just personally think that when I use this, it just becomes nothing on me. Um, it gives me a slight shine, but I don't really reach for it as much as I reach for my hourglass. So I think I'm gonna try and pass this on to someone else if they would like it. A powder that I use every day is One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. Um, as you can see, I hit pan quite a while ago on this. I've gone through, I think this is my third one of these. These are so good at keeping your face matte and all your makeup set in place. So I definitely would recommend this. So keeping that. So finally, I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder here. Um, this is a loose powder, i open it up for you. And I use this to bake my face. I don't really do much else with it. It's really good for just setting your makeup and keeping it in place, especially if you've got oily skin like I do. I find that it just locks everything in if you're having quite a long day. Um, I don't use it on work days because it's just a lot of effort, but whenever I'm having a day off and doing something fun, I always like to set my under eyes with this. So keeping that. So when it comes to bronzers, I don't really have too many because I'm quite picky when it comes to bronzers. I don't really like sparkly bronzers. I don't know what it is about them. I just prefer to have matte ones. Um, so I only have four and actually one of them is sparkly, but we'll get onto that in a second. So I'm going to start off with this one, which was uh, probably the first bronzer I ever got. This is from Topshop and this is in the colour Sandcastle. Let me open this up for you. It's it's a nice colour. It's a, it's a bit uninspiring, but it is good for what it is, which is just a plain bronzer. However, I've got some better colours since then, so I think this is another one that I'm going to try and hand down to any family and friends that might want it or throw it away, just because I have better versions of this. Next up, I have almost like a sample size of Hula Bronzer by Benefit. This is a really nice bronzer. I actually got this in like a, a Christmas set. Um, again, I really like this colour. I think the thing that annoys me about this is the size of this. It's very small. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this one, but I do think I'm going to invest in the full size version just because it'll be a little bit easier to get my um, bronzing 
brush in there and just a little bit easier to work with. So I'm gonna keep this and I will get a bigger version soon. So the next two are a little bit more high end. Um, this one is the most recent one I got, actually the most recent makeup product I bought. And this is uh, Soleil Tan de Chanel. And this is obviously from Chanel. Uh, this is a cream bronzer and I've never used a cream bronzer before but I've heard such amazing things for this and I have to say I love this um it doesn't even look like I've really used it I've used it every day so far it is amazing I can be a little bit heavy-handed with well, makeup in general especially bronzer and I found that this was really easy to blend and didn't make me look like an oompa loompa and the packaging is really nice as well. So the final bronzer that I have is definitely one that I use a lot more in the summer. This is my Clarins bronzer. I really like this. You can avoid the glittery bit if you want. So I tend to mainly use this side and then just put the glitter in sort of set parts of my face. But this is huge and this is gonna last me absolutely ages. So I definitely am gonna keep this. And it's really cool that they usually come out of a different design of this every year. Same bronzer, but just different packaging. So when it comes to blushes, I definitely have a color that I like. I think if I open my Bobbi Brown one and two of my MACs, they're pretty, oh no, that's a bit darker than I thought actually. I thought all these three, they're mm, <laughs> pretty similar. What about this one? Yeah, I mean, I can see the difference, but they're pretty similar colors. I like this kind of pink in my blush. The first one I have is the Pincho Peach um, from MAC. This is my favorite blush at the moment, so I'm definitely keeping this. I really like the color. It kind of goes with almost all of my makeup looks and it's just a nice flush of color for every day. So that one is definitely staying. Um, this one I got for Christmas from the Nutcracker collection. I really like this. I like the star design in it and it's got a bit of sparkle in it. Um, so I think this isn't gonna be kind of an everyday. This is gonna be a little bit more of a special occasion blush, but I do really like this one. So definitely keeping that now the bobby brown one i'm just not sure i did really like this color when i got it um and this is pretty pink but i actually think this is a little bit too pigmented um so no i'm just not sure on this one i i'm on the fence i haven't quite decided on that one yet whether i'm going to keep it or not next up is coralista this is from benefit this smells amazing if you haven't tried this you need to go into the shop and smell it it smells like watermelon and it's really different from the other colors i have this is a really nice summer color when you've got a little bit of a tan and it smells like watermelon, which I love. So I'm definitely keeping that. It's really nice. Finally, I have this one from Chanel. Um, I'm pretty sure this color's called In Love. I don't even know if they do this anymore. This is old. I don't know if you can tell looking at it. This is probably definitely out of date, which is such a shame because I really like this color. Uh, but I probably should throw it away because it's probably not doing my skin any good using a really out of date blusher i will have to see if they still sell it i'm pretty sure they don't so goodbye blusher i love you lots so for eyeshadows i don't actually have a huge amount this is literally all the products i would use on my eyes and looking at it now it definitely needs to be uh increased <laughs> so i'm going to kind of start from one end and work my way through the first one i'm going to talk about is this which is kiko this is an eyeshadow stick um i've really been into eyeshadow sticks recently and this one's a really nice color let me put it on my hand so it's kind of like a purpley metallic color. So I really like this. It doesn't stay on for a huge amount of time, but I mean, I am talking about when I've been working all day. Uh, so I think I'm gonna keep this and it's really nice for kind of if we're going out for a few hours. Next up is the product I use pretty much every day at the moment. And this is Rosie for Autograph from Marks and Spencer's um, eyeshadow stick. And this is another really nice kind of gold color. And I really like this one. I use this every day at the moment. It's so pretty. So definitely keeping that. Might actually get a couple more of those at the weekend because I love them. They're so easy to use. Okay, so I have a few Kiko shadows here. Um, and I do like the Kiko shadows, but I think I need to just keep the ones that I use a lot. This is the one I probably use the most, which is the purpley color. This looks really, really pretty on the eyes. Although it is very similar to the ones I already have, but I think it'd be a nice blending shade with those. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. Uh, this one is more of a salmon -y color i actually haven't even used this very nice pink color maybe i should try and use that a little bit more because i definitely haven't even touched this since i bought it this one is oh nice purple the thing is when am i going to use this uh, oh it's quite dark it's darker than i thought it was oh i'm not sure about this one i do really like the color but i just don't know when i'm going to get the wear out of it so the final kiko shadow i have is this one it's a really nice kind of color and it looks really pretty on. I've been using this on the inner corners because it just gives you really nice shine. So definitely keeping that one. 
So I have this vanilla pigment from MAC. I don't really use it, so I think I'm going to be passing that on to someone else. It was a nice idea, but I don't use it. Um, my two MAC eyeshadows, I have this really nice pink one. Again, I don't really use this, so I think I'm going to pass this on to someone else. And this purple one, I do use a reasonably amount, so I think I'm going to keep this one actually and get rid of the purple one from Kiko. Um, in this box is pigments that I got from MAC this Christmas. These are really nice to put on uh, with MAC's Fix Plus all over your eyes. So I'm going to be keeping these because these are really lovely at Christmas time. The only eyeshadow palette I actually own. So I definitely need to be buying some more. So it's my birthday this weekend and I think I'm going to invest in some more eyeshadow palettes. But this one is the original Naked Palette by Urban Decay. There are some nice colours in here. Um, but I think I want to get a few more reds and maybe go for like the Modern Renaissance palettes. So keeping this one but gonna definitely get a few more although i hate the packaging of this because it always makes it look really dirty so these are all the mascaras i have i tend to not keep them for too long just because i think it's a little bit gross to have mascaras for long periods of time yeah i actually for some reason find it's okay to keep everything else for ages um so the first two i already know i'm gonna get rid of are these two here um it's the longcom hypnose drama and the josie meron argan oil black oil mascara i don't like these very much um bye <laughs> i don't like these very much i have really thin tiny eyelashes and i don't really think they do what i want them to so unfortunately these two are going in the bin um this one is one of my favorites actually this is a clinique bottom lash mascara and it looks ridiculous like when i first had it i was like what is this it is perfect for your bottom lashes and it stops me from getting panda eyes. So this is like a must have for me, even though it looks really silly. This mascara I got from America, which is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. Um, it's okay. Again, it's not my favorite. I will definitely use this one up because I don't think it's terrible, but I won't be repurchasing it. This one is actually one of my favorite, if not my favorite mascaras. Oh, you can see this one's been well loved. This is the Roller Lash by Benefit. This one is pretty dried up now, so I definitely need to get a replacement, but I will be replacing this because I love it a lot. Um, this one is one I got for Christmas. It's only a little one. It is the Legendary Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. I've only used it for the first time today, and I actually really like it. It definitely separates your lashes. I'm not sure about giving volume, but I think if I laid this up with another one, that would be really nice. The final one I have, I haven't even opened. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I love this mascara. This is the third tube of this I've gone through. Um, so I've bought one just ready, just in case they discontinue it, and uh, it's not been opened yet, but as soon as I finish some other one, this is going to be the one I crack out. So I have quite a few eyeliners, um, and straight off the bat I can see a few that I definitely think I'm going to get rid of. I actually bought a pack of uh, Urban Decay sort of uh, eye pencils, the 24-7 ones, and obviously they came with a few crazy colours that I'm probably not going to use. So I actually already have someone in mind that I'm going to give these to, which is this colour, this one and this one i know she's gonna love them a lot more than i will um so they're gonna go to a friend so in regards to the rest of the urban decay ones i really like this purple and i mean you can't go wrong with the browns and the black is a really good color so i will be keeping those this next one which i can't even see anymore is a l'oreal eyeliner i don't even think this is mm. yeah getting rid of this one not a fan so that one just looks a bit meh this one is from the body shop i got this in their sales um yeah that's not the best so we're gonna get rid of that one as well what else have we got oh a charlotte tilbury one uh this again i got for christmas <clears throat> already way better than this one these are two black eyeliners and this one is just so much better so out of the two i'm going to be keeping this one and then the final two i have are the ones i use every day this is from Rimmel and this is a Scandalize and I use this in my waterline just to make me look a little bit more awake. Although that lid is really gross. I need to clean that up. And then this one is the Super Cat Eyeliner Pencil from Soap and Glory and I really like this one when I'm doing a cat eye because I just think it gives you a really good line. So those two are going to get kept. So it may look like I don't have a lot of products for brows but actually I really only use one. Um, this is Cabral, which is from Benefit, and I love it. It's kind of like a little powder. Um, I don't use the brush, and I use a, a MAC brush that I have, and I find this amazing for filling in my eyebrows. This is colour number four, and um, yeah, I've, I really like it. I don't think I'll be going back to anything else else i've definitely been converted to this one um before that i did used to use this mac eyeshadow in brunt um 
Again, this is a really similar product, but I actually prefer the feel um, and end result of the Benefit one, but this is a good backup if I'm ever traveling or just a good eyeshadow as well. So I'll be keeping that one. These had so much promise. They're Sculpting Brow Mascara. Um, and I really need to get a clear brow gel. I got one in a medium brown and one in transparent. And honestly, they're just a bit weird. The brush, I don't know why it's got this bobbly bit at the end because for your eyebrows, you really want it to be kind of completely straight. So um, I think I even tried to cut the end off this one. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Didn't work. Turns out the plastic was thicker than I thought. So I'm going to throw both of these away and then when I go to town at the weekend I'm going to try and pick up a new brow product, like a gel. I'm not really sure what category to put these in, maybe just kind of compacts. Um, these are kind of a mixture of items in each palette. This first one is the Blush and Go from Collection. Um, I don't remember why I bought this. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, I used to keep this in my handbag if I just needed to touch up because that's a bit of everything. Although the stuff isn't that good the glitter in the highlight is really thick the blush is okay but again it's very similar to ones i have i've never touched these two shades it's just these two so i think i'm probably going to throw this away this is a sleek uh contour and blush palette again i think this is probably going to be one i'm going to get rid of i haven't even touched the bronze shade in here um i mainly got it because the blusher reminded me of orgasm from nars uh but I mean, I have that, so I don't know why I've kept this. So I think I'm gonna pass this on to someone else. The final one I have is a NARS uh, Jewel Compact, and this is two of my favorite colors. This is the Orgasm Blusher and the Laguna Bronzer. Um, I love this blusher. I think next time I'm gonna get a big version of that. And I do use the bronzer, but just not as much. So this is mainly for the blusher that I'm keeping this one. Now moving on to highlighters. I love highlighters so much. The more blinding, the better. Like I want to be able to just, oh, my face to be glowing. So I have a few different variants here. I'm going to start with the MAC one, which I got for Christmas. Um, even though this has got like a blusher slash bronzer with it, I only really use the highlighter. This I think is going to be amazing in the summer, even though it came with a Christmas palette. So I shall be keeping that one. This next one is amazing this is the sleek solstice palette and the colors in here are incredible i haven't really used the cream one i tried it once and didn't really like it i love the purple for winter and the orange and the yellow they're just really really nice and really inexpensive so i'm going to be keeping that one uh next up i have two charlotte tilbury ones this one is the film star bronze and glow this also has the bronzer in it as well as the highlight this is a lot more of a subtle highlight, um, but I still do really like it. So this is one I use more every day. So I'll keep that one. This one is another Chart Tilbury one, and this is in the color, this is just a dreamy glow highlighter. I really like the packaging of this. This is when they did the collection of loads of sort of classic female uh, photography prints. And this one is a very similar color, but you could only get it in this style. It's a little bit more pink. So I again will be keeping that one because it's really pretty. The final highlight I have is probably one of my favorite pieces of makeup that I own. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. I literally tried for ages to get this and you couldn't get it in the UK. And then finally they brought it over and I am obsessed. Annoyingly, when I first used it, I dug my nail in it by accident. But this is amazing. It is my favorite highlighter and I'm gonna keep that as well. So to be honest, I'm not getting rid of any highlighters, but I use all of these a lot. So keeping all of those, lip liners aren't something I particularly use a lot, um, so I don't have a huge amount of them. And to be fair, I probably should use them a lot more. So I'm not really sure what to get rid of here. I might just swatch a few on my hand. This one is Spice, uh, which is a brown, which I think I will keep. I'm more looking for ones that are similar, to be honest. Uh, this one is from Kiko, it's the 701 which is kind of a more of a baby pink. This one is MAC and it's just wonderful. Um, it's more of a purpley color, but more of a deeper red. I've got quite a few lipsticks that would go with. This one is In Anticipation by MAC. And again, I've got a nice amount of color. Oh, that's very similar to that one though. I think I'll keep that one as well because I have a particular lipstick I use that with. This one is the 303 by Kiko. Oh, I love how smooth this one is and that's a bit of a darker red. I'm just gonna probably keep all of these, I'm not gonna lie. And then the final one we have is magenta, which is a purple. Yeah, I'm keeping all of these. They might look quite similar in the shop. 
yeah i'm keeping all of these they might look quite similar in the shop but i have loads of lipsticks that i can kind of put these with so finally we have lipsticks i'm actually pretty good at usually going through my lipsticks and getting rid of some so this isn't too bad i would say for me um so what i'm gonna do is go through there's definitely a few that i already know that i want to give away so hopefully this will be quite painless um it's kind of just roll through them men love mystery the purple that's gone i can't pull that off that's i'm getting rid of that one i'm actually gonna put these to this side because i can stand them up <laughs> this one is meh um i like that one that one can be kept although i'm gonna keep that open just so i can compare it to other ones as we go along that might be a good way of doing it i feel this one is rebel really nice color definitely keeping that i wear that a lot especially during winter, so that's a favorite. This one is Among the Fireflies, a really nice brown. Uh, this was a limited edition and I always get compliments on this one, keeping that. I do I do have some I get rid of, I'm getting rid of, I promise. <laughs> this one is Russian Red. This is one of the first MAC lipsticks I have and a really nice red color, so I'm keeping that because I don't really have anything else like that. Just gonna get in the MAC out of the way first. What is this one? What even does that say? I don't even know what this one says. That's how worn away it is. Um, yeah, let's throw this one away. This is a gloss, a lip gloss. Um, I don't particularly like this. It's a bit sticky and mm, it's a bit too shiny for me. So I think this is gonna go in the bin as well. I'm definitely keeping my lip tensities because these are some of my favorite lipstick formulas. So I'll be keeping all three of these. This one I got a little while ago. This is in the color Goodnight Kiss. Um, I really quite like this color. I prefer it without the lip gloss. This is the lip gloss that kind of came in the set with it, but I think I like it just as a color as it is. So I will keep the lipstick and get rid of the lip gloss. This is another lip gloss. Um, this was the Miley Cyrus Viva Glam 2 lip gloss. Um, I got it basically to go with my Miley Cyrus Viva Glam. The colour doesn't suit me. Orangey reds just are not my thing. So I think I'm going to throw this away because I don't really like giving lip glosses to people because I think it's a little bit gross. Okay, these two. Stay. These two are my liquid lipsticks from MAC and I do not like these. Um, I really don't like the formula. I think they crack really easily. Um, so I'm going to see if anyone wants them. <laughs> Obviously, I, I don't think I'm giving them a great review, but if someone wants them that I know, I will give them to them. If not, I'll probably just throw them away. Okay, what's this one? I'm going for the MAC first. Uh, this is Cream Cup. I like this colour, but I don't think it really suits me. Um, is this a cream machine or a MAC? It's a cream machine. I just... I, I don't think it really suits my skin tone, so I think I'm going to give that one away. This one is Please Me. This is... A very similar color actually but a little bit darker and i think i prefer this version of like the pink okay these two are my miley cyrus viva glam lipsticks in one and two uh i love one i hate two uh one actually is similar to the other color i've got but i actually prefer this pink so i'm going to keep this one viva glam one and i'm going to get rid of viva glam two because it's just an orange red and i do not suit orange reds goodbye these are both fashion revival um because they're backups for my basically favorite lipstick from mac and um, there was limited edition so i will keep these because i'm pretty much almost out of the other one this is my mariah carey mac lipstick i love this one it's like a brown gold rose gold it's amazing even just for the packaging you can never get rid of this and the final one i got was a little bit of an impulse buy in the mac sales this is from their nutcracker collection and it's another kind of hot pink. Let's put this one on here. Actually, pretty similar to the one I'm getting rid of. So I think this is probably a better, more kind of in-date, clean version of the other one. So, and it was reduced, so you can't really argue with that. So the last few I have are two liquid lipsticks and two main lipsticks. This one is from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the Manny MUA color in Serenity. I love this. This is amazing. It's such a pretty color. So that is definitely getting kept. Actually, a very similar one is this soft matte lip cream from NYX or NYX. I'm going to keep that because I use that quite a lot for videos. Final ones. We have some Kiko. Oh, this is a new Kiko purple I got when I was in Bristol. I'm keeping that because it's amazing. And this one is probably my favorite lipstick pretty much ever. This is such a pretty color. 
So I'm keeping both of those. And also Kiko is really cheap, which is amazing. And the final two I have is this one from YSL, which is another really pretty purpley pink color, which I love. I will be keeping that to wear for summer. And the final one that I have is the Tom Ford Indian Rose, which is another beautiful color. So keeping that one, even though it's probably very similar to these ones, the formulation of this is so nice. And also it was that expensive, I can never get rid of this one. <laughs> So this is everything that I'm planning to get rid of. Ow. So I think I've done pretty well. There's quite a lot here. Um, and I'm just really happy that I've finally just done a little bit of a declutter. It doesn't seem like a lot, but constantly trying to refine your collection definitely helps keep stuff in date, keep stuff uh, circulated and just kind of freshening up your look a bit. So. Bye old makeup, hope you enjoy your new home in the bin or with other people and uh, this means I can go buy some more now. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh no. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out one of our other videos which will be appearing on screen now, recommended just for you.